Well, here's how it all kicked off then. A slightly premature start by pole sitter Adam Carroll. He was reprimanded for that later on in the race, but that didn't affect him. Holding on to pole position going through turn one. Uh, fending off Loris Spinelli and the new TF Sport Aston Martin coming debut this weekend. They decided that they were going to go side by side, though, in the run-up to Eau Rouge. Adam Carroll coming off the better there. Further back in GT Cup, it was the number 54 who led Jan Larison and Bas Schuten at the wheel, but it was battles very much for the leading parts of this race in GT Open between the Honda NSX of Renault Muller and also Brendan Irie involved in that as well alongside Al Faisal, Al Zubair. All went well in the pit stops and all went well for Christian Kleen who manages to hold on through Eau Rouge just to get ahead of the number 11 Honda. Adam Carroll having a bit of a bother with his seat throwing skills uh, in the pit stop. It didn't affect them though. They still managed to uh, hold on to the lead briefly before losing that unfortunately in the Pro-Am battle. Which then came to drop her after a bit of a, a hard race for them. That was Gerhard Theresa at the wheel there. And then this spectacular, unfortunate incident for the number 97 car, which picked up a, a puncture, which forced them to drop out from the leading part of this race and allowed Frederick Shandorf to come home and take the win for Vincenzo Suspiri racing here alongside Michele Beretta. And it was a 1-2. Alongside Baptiste Moulin, Yuki Nomoto, Andy Suchek and Al Faisal Zubair came third. Oh,